Hey houseplant friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do a big box store houseplant shopping vlog. We're gonna go to two Home Depots and one Lowe's with my friend Jess. Come be in a Jess, say hi Jess. Last time we were with Natalie and now we're with Jess. It's just a great week. It's an awesome week. We got golden hour happening. It's <laughs> shiny and nice. So we're gonna go inside and take a look at the house plants. So, well, I did not think this through. <laughs> Hold on one sec. <laughs> so, it's a podcast, BB. Okay, so we're in the first area and this looks really funny. I wish I could show you guys, but I have the mic turned around backwards so that I, so you can hear me talking. <laughs> so the first thing I saw when we walked in are these little, these are basically $10 to 12 with tax bird's nest ferns. <laughs> Those are cute. I don't think I've ever seen these. <laughs> what? I'm just thinking it's so hard to do with the audio because it's just directional <laughs> microphone. Um, I don't think I've ever seen these at Home Depot before, which is super fun. We're getting new plants for the first time ever. It's so fun. Also, coffee plants. I've only ever seen these guys at Lowe's. So is it really coffee? Yeah, they can grow coffee beans. That's really cute. I know. Most of the time, people kill them though. Yeah, I probably would. Coffea arabica is the, not Italian. <laughs> wow, Latin name, <laughs> botanical name. It's Italian. <laughs> Coffee, <laughs> it's Italian. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's so cute. Dying, it's fine. I will one day try to break one of these out or these bonsai. The bonsai are on top of the moss though, so it'll probably be a little bit easier. But let's go look in the other room. Look at how little that is. It's so cute. That's so cute. Do you like these? These are yucca. She likes them because you can grab them really sturdily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna turn this thing. But look at how big these are. Whoa. Yeah, they're really, really big. Crazy. Ooh, I just remembered a nursery is opening up soon. Oh, really? Five Mile Farm. I'm so excited. That's awesome. Well, we got a lot of Opuntia species. And then these ones back here kind of freaked me out. If you can get that. Mm -hmm. I feel like these look like worms. They do. I know. I don't like it at they all. They look like fingers. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is a fun aloe, though. It's blue. Oh, whoa. Which it can join the honorary blue cactus club. I'll let it. I'll let it slide. Also, a bunch of you are finding freaking Myrtillo cactus geometrosians in your Home Depots, and I'm mad because I'm jealous. <laughs> These are string of dolphins. What? I know. Massive, they're GMO string of dolphins, which is kind of crazy. They're in this fat succulent pot for only $12.98, which is like probably the best price for a string of dolphins I've ever seen and you get more plants with it. And it's in all of these. Like, literally, they all have string of dolphins. Also, fuzzy succulents, just check that out. He's fuzzy. They're literally so cute. And then these ones are soft too. This is called bear paw. This is Christopher's favorite succulent. Oh my God. He says they look like Pikachu hands. They do, oh my mm -hmm. goodness. Isn't that crazy? Crazy! Oh, look at the baby ones. They look so they're tiny so and chubby. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, they're really Even nice. Even like, repotted each of the succulents into smaller ones. Yeah. Grow bigger. Yes. It's a good bang for your buck. Wow. That is beautiful. Amazing. Oh no! Just right now. Oh my gosh, some of these cactus are amazing. This is, oh, hold on, we're getting serious. I gotta put my purse around my shoulder. This is called corn cactus, and it's variegated, which is why it's extra special. This is with deco flower. Good thing that there's no flower on this. All these are fake flowers. Don't believe the hype. Here's a variegated opuntia. Wow. Then we also have some crested Myrtillo cactus, which, oh, thank you. It's just hard because of the sun. It's very blue. 
Wow, amazing, but fake flower. Oh, I like the pink. Killing it. We know they're fake. <gasps> oh, some of them are blooming. That is so fun. Also, some of these succulents have been coming in super nice. Just like with the colors, they're so bright. Especially the Echeveria, which are everything that looks like that. They're just so pretty. I've been saying that plant name wrong before my whole life. What have you been saying? Echeveria. I'm, oh, I was gonna say I might be saying it wrong, but I no think I'm, I don't think it's Echeveria. Wow, I just can't get over how pretty the blue is. This is a fun succulent called Key Lime Pie. It is like a little, it's not, doesn't look like a pie at all, but. That is really cute. Isn't it interesting? It almost looks like the bear paw as well. Yeah, it's very chonky like it. And then check this out. We are getting Echeveria flowers. <laughs> That's so cute. Yes, they're so adorable. Normally they're much bigger, but these are small little babies. <gasps> oh, you found another one. <laughs> so cute. I'm gonna say Echeveria forever now. Oh, no, look at this one. <laughs> I think I'm wrong. You are. <laughs> look at this one. He's happening. Also, they started putting these out. I won't try to take it out, but basically what this sign says is that the paint doesn't harm the aloe, but there's no way that's true. I don't believe it. Check out this guy. That is crazy. That's so pretty. This is aloe, doesn't say. Let's see if this one, they both don't say the name. That's too bad, normally they're really good about names. Wow, look at that detail, dude. Crazy. Yeah, I'll do it. That's why I have a Home Depot card. <laughs> It's really nice. I've been looking for some cool aloe lately, especially because they're just so nice. I do wanna redecorate my entire cactus bench. So I think I wanna put house plants where my cactus are and find something else to put my cactus on. Ooh, some variegated um, Kalanchoe. Those are really pretty. That's another fuzzy succulent right there. What are you looking at? Yeah, those are so pretty. Oh that color. I cannot believe that. I know. Succulents are really great during the actual plant season. This was one, I think it's called Sea Monster. Fang. This is Fang. There's one that's similar to it, and it's called the Sea Monster, and it has really, really crazy designs on it. Yes, so Natalie cool. loves those. This is the Begonia I like a lot. Um, they're starting to sell it in regular houseplant stores. This one's not in very good condition, but... It reminds me of Begonia Julau, which is a rare species from Borneo. What do you think, Jess? What do you think of this selection? There's a lot of plants. Yeah, but none of the right ones. Yeah, I was gonna say, these don't really look like the ones that are usually on your channel. But yeah, they're not. And Jess actually watches my YouTube channel, <laughs> which is crazy. And then we have a lipstick plant. Please don't be soaking wet. Which is a relative of African Violet, I guess, which is kind of crazy. These guys are $17. And they're little succulent guys. And they're a little hairy, it looks like. They're really cute. Yeah. I definitely killed my ivy. Oh, no. So I need another hanging plant. Ooh, okay, now we're in ficus heaven. No, you can stay in the <laughs> shot. You're not in the way. I want to know what they're doing to try to make all these. For anyone wondering, these black marks are normal on ZZs. Everyone is always asking if those are normal. They are. I didn't know that they were, but they are. It's literally, look at it through the lens. It's like a sea of houseplants. They put the price tag on the <gasps> Oh my god. That is not okay. I can't believe it. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> okay. That's kind of weird. I know. Like trophy and stuff. So we're at Lowe's. I forgot to film an establishing shot, so <laughs> sue me. But we're looking at some cactus. Look at these. Yeah, they're in like cans. beer cans. This is like right when you walk in. Because They're cute though. Someone, would it do anything to like the roots or anything? I don't think it's healthy. I don't think they're healthy choices for that. They're cute though. These shallow ones are kind of cute dishes. Oh, there's a lot. Whoa, there's like a lot. Look at this, guys. It's like a whole, it's a whole ordeal. This is cute. <laughs> it's like, it's $5 though. But I guess with the pot, that, that is cute though. 
Oh, this is a Blue Cactus Club member. I don't know what it's called. Stenocerius Pruinosis. I don't know if that's true. I'm gonna have to refer to my friend Cactus Update. Do we have a price? So these are $10. This is the price of the aloe I just bought at Home Depot. Kind of regretting yeah. that I bought the aloe, but it's okay because the aloe I don't have to pay for for another 31 days. So it's like renting until I buy it. <laughs> I love that. I have one of those at home um, at my house. This is difficult. I'm gonna put them over here instead. Check this out. The colors in here. And then it's beautiful, long. It's so cute. It's really cute. The succulent game here is kind of killing it. More Natalie friends. Then everything else down here is like kind of what we've already seen. We have just a wall of succulents. It's kind of like overwhelming. Look at these ones. So weird I don't know thing. why it's doing that. It must be trying to get to the light because it's in the sh yeah, shade maybe. or something. Oh, whoa. I don't even know what this is, but that is really fun. Kalanchoe Hildebrandtii. Needs water. It's like a copper spoon, but it's silver. Oh, we have some of these. I think that these are lithops. Tiger jaws. Oh, yeah, but, oh, Jess, feel how squishy. <laughs> it's so squishy. These guys are five dollars. That is absurd. I'm sorry, Lowe's. Then we have some lithops or troll butts, as people like to refer to them. These <laughs> really need to be watered so bad. Oh, look, it's a variegated bear claw. So, remember the one we saw earlier? Yeah. Now it's just got white streaks oh, on it. So cute. And stringed dolphins. Five dollars. For five dollars. Wow. That is kind of absurd. Y'all gotta come to Lowe's. Are those the thick ones like you were talking yep. about? Yeah, totally. That's kind of crazy. It says Spearhead Senecio, but I'm pretty sure those are String of Dolphins. They look just like Yeah, them. like especially the little ones. Wow, watch me be wrong. We have some money trees. These guys are $34.98. Ooh, Monster Deliciosa. There's some nicer ones over there. We're not even to the houseplant section yet, which is over there, by the way. We're, we're like, look like at the front of the store. <laughs> oh, look, there's more succulents. Oh, whoa. What is happening? Lowe's is going hard. I wonder if they have, I'm really still looking for some Moonstone Sansevier, not Sansevier, what am I saying? Moonstone. <laughs> I don't know the name of the species, but it's like this, except they're completely round and like bulbous and my favorite things. $3.98, okay, so these are a dollar less. So these are your budget succulents. <laughs> these Monstera are, oh, my hair, sorry. <laughs> I just wanna be with you. <laughs> so these Monstera Delicios are $22 for a one gallon pot. You could, for something like this, you could totally ask them for a discount and they would give you one. Most of the time when I ask for a discount, they only charge me $5 total for a plant. So what? They, they, they're they not gonna be like, that's not damaged. Hmm. When they can see that like, it's basically flaccid. Also things like this. Mm. So, oh boy. What is going on here? Do you see this? That's really sad. Yeah, that's a blight. If it's on all of these, Usually because it originated from one plant. I wonder if these are the discount plants. These are like super cute plant stands. This is $7 oh gosh, and it comes with... Lowe's is honestly trying to kill it. Like they really want to kill it, you know? Those are absolutely adorable. Those are really cute and minimalistic. You guys should see Jessica's house. It's very minimalist and perfect. But don't come to her house. Yeah. I wonder if these are the discount ones though. That is a black anthurium, which is kind of fun. Zoom in. But, got a lot of plants happening. Here are some succulents. These are super cute. I love these. Yeah, I like the pots. I'm not seeing anything here I'm like really in love with, you know? What'd you find? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Kind of odd. 
These yeah. definitely look dead. I They're think like they, crusty. Those are for sure dead. This one is needing to be hydrated. I think whoever had this thought that it was like a fake plant or something. Yeah, maybe. Also, Lowe's is not really great with their plants. Oh. They kind of like just let stuff die sometimes. Some orchids. These guys are cute. They're in really cute little pots. It looks like there's a hair clip on them. Yeah, they put those there to keep them up. That's so cute. $10. So, these are Hoya. Little itty bitty Hoya baskets, I think. Oh, no, they're not. Wow, I'm embarrassed. Mini variegated, it literally says mini variegated lipstick plant. Um, the variegation is only in the middle and nowhere else. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't grow out on any of these stems. Hmm. That's kind of cute though and I'm glad that they know like, you know, what the plants are. They're giving them like their whole, their whole different name. These are $15. They're, they're literally like barely variegated though. I wish they'd make more plants in these sizes. Usually plants, like they don't have plants in sizes this small. They're only like the bigger ones that are like 20 bucks. Yeah, they're really adorable. Like they're teeny tiny. They chomp. <laughs> is Hoya Lacunosa. This is the bigger pot I was just talking about. This guy needs some light. This is very clearly an old shipment. I don't know when this was. I haven't been to big box stores in a bit, but he's in rough shape. This is a plant you could definitely ask for a discount on. They're asking for $25. Uh, I would ask for a discount, just ask. For this one, I'd be like as much of a discount as you can give me because literally the leaves are like wilting and dying and whatever. And then you can put it out in the sun if you live in a really sunny state and be like, hey, Please come back, friend. Please give me some love. But also, I think these probably shipped with cold damage, mm. which is probably why they're in such bad shape. But this philodendron is in really good shape. That's really pretty. This is philodendron heteraceum. Um, and it's, I love it when they unfurl this pink color. Is it cute? I think that's so cute. This, they're asking $25 for this. This is a plant you could not ask for a discount on because it's honestly in perfect shape, so. I think that's it for here, honestly. These filths are $34.98. So right now, and don't don't tell them, don't tell them you heard it from me. But it's a better deal to get them at Home Depot. <laughs> Ooh! Look, they got Calathea back. Sorry, I just got so distracted. We're at the next Home Depot. We have Medallion Calathea here for $11, which is the most inexpensive I've ever seen it in my life. So, amazing. And then, we're not gonna talk about these, we've already seen them. What are you? Peperomia Metallica. I've never seen this before. It kinda does look silvery. Yeah, it totally is shiny. It's hard to see on camera though. We got more cute, cute suckers. I'm really into this vibe right now. Just like how bright it is and small. I think it's just because of the succulent day, they always pop them up so cute. And those are the ones, like these are the ones that they do that with. So. They do an amazing job. They do such a good job. Oh, so cute. They're really so cute. Um, I don't, I feel like people at home are tired of seeing succulents today, but I'm not tired of looking at them yet, so. Sorry. I'm just ready for them to get the Albo cactuses back in. There's like this Euphorbia amok, and Home Depot gets them in the summer, and I saw them. I'm so freaking dumb. They were selling them here last summer, and I didn't know what they were yet, so I was like, whatever, cactus. Didn't like cactus yet. That's so cute. <laughs> so cute. Begonias, way back here. Hopefully here, I don't want to smash them. We have begonia. I can get the cup out. Oh. Begonia escargo, which is in bad shape, but it's okay. It's a Home Depot plant, so it's gonna be. These are only $6.98, and these are very 
trendy begonias right now. Oh, there's another one right here. I didn't have to work that hard. <laughs> Does it come through at all? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, super, super, super just like silvery and shiny. And then it has these pink edges. So everyone loves that begonia right now. So the fact that you can get it at Home Depot is kind of a big deal because it used to be like at regular nurseries, like $20 for four inch. So that's crazy. Yes. In comparison, this is a good deal. I don't think that six, almost $7 for a four inch pot is ever a good deal from a big box store. Yeah. But for that one, it is. So for $12.98 each, you can get a sago palm or a ZZ plant or a Sansevieria. I don't know which Sansevieria this is. It doesn't say. It's called Black Something. I always want to say Black Rock, but maybe it's Black Star. I can't remember. <laughs> This is a nice cactus, I like these. I have one at home that's similar, and I fully, like it's a big one, and I fully reached in once. I don't know if you watched my videos yet, but I like grabbed the cactus and like stabbed myself in multiple places because I wasn't watching and I went to grab my phone and there was a cactus and I just grabbed the cactus. And there I was didn't blood. See that, but that just it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I can think about because of Reed. Same thing with Reed. She's the one who we'd always say string of bananya instead of just banana. It was bananya. <laughs> Lipstick plant. This is another plant you could ask for a mad discount on. Yeah, it's sad looking. Yeah, really sad. Not looking. good. Here's the deal. Don't buy plants that are sick. Buy plants that are damaged. Like if you know that there's a bug on it, don't be like, uh, I got a killer discount because there was mealy bugs on it or scale or something horrible because you're gonna take that thing back into your house and as much as you're gonna try to not let it get everywhere it's gonna get on all of your other plants and then you're gonna be sad so just buy healthy plants but maybe they look a little worse for the wear so you can get like a discount like all of these trans you don't need to pay $17 for that you can probably get them for like five bucks if you ask for a discount but you have to ask otherwise you won't get it <laughs> they used to have a bunch of nasty spider plants up here that were in horrible, horrible shape. <gasps> Jessica, look! Oh, that looks like my hair. <laughs> You're so cute. That is so adorable. I can't, I can't afford to like buy plants. I can put them on a credit card because I'll get paid next month and then I can buy them but I don't want to put more than $10 on my card because then I have to pay off more than $10. And I need the money for other stuff. So I think we're done shopping. I would love at some point to get another filth. Philly fig. Not milf, <laughs> filth. <laughs> and I really want to get some more cactus, but you girls got to have a wedding. So what I'm hoping is that all of the plants that we're gonna buy for the wedding will just Take them back to my house. That would be so cute. I know, though. I know. If you did like succulent bouquets. Yes, and all that. I do want to do like things that people can take home. So like yeah. a little succulent or like a little cactus, something that's like easy to take care of um, for people who don't idea. like plants. But my oh bouquet. My okay, you guys. I can't tell you who I'm working with yet because it's not decided. But I'm going to have a complete foliage bouquet. Aww. There will be albo in it and hopefully some anthurium leaves in it and then I'm gonna press the bouquet once we're done getting married, but I'm really excited. That's it's gonna so be a exciting. plant wedding. The venue we picked too already has plants everywhere. That's so exciting. So we're gonna bring our own plants for like to decorate the tables and stuff, but. And you're gonna take videos of it, right? Yes. <laughs> we're gonna have a videographer. I don't know what else you were expecting. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. Please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, tweet me at PlantMeAshley. If you want to help support my channel financially, instead of just being a real one and supporting as much as you can, there's, there's an extra mile club called Patreon. <laughs> it's the first link in my description. And if you want to help out because YouTube doesn't pay me that much, I'd love this to be my full-time job. Here are, okay, I have to think about this. So, I'm, so, I'm, I'm really dyslexic. I'm just trying to figure out where on the screen my patrons are gonna be. They're gonna be here. <laughs> the one on the sides. I think they're gonna be here. 
So here's all the list of all my patrons. They're all amazing. Thank you guys for supporting me. I love you so much. You've taken such a big burden off of my pale, small, frail chest. <laughs> I love you. I tried to find some trending tropicals. There were none. Costa, what the heck? You sent them out once and that's it? All right, well, I'm stressed and tired and hungry, so I'm gonna go. 